Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today, I would like to uh, present the first topic which is about introduction to computer. And uh, for this topic, we cover about the information technology, information communication technology, information system, a computer, data and information and also the components of computer and last one, the type or uh, classification of computer. Alright, first of all, you must know what is information, technology and communication. Information is a conveys meaning and is uh, useful to people. Right, information is what we share. Uh, we give the information, and how we give the information. Okay, let we uh, uh detail after this. So, what is a technology? A technology which is usage and knowledge of tools, techniques, system, method, and also which is to solve a problem. Okay, let's say, um, you have a problem. You have an issue for the task. Okay, so for example, uh. Uh, pandemic eh? pandemic we have a we have a new norm which is how you can deliver your knowledge okay for example i'm as uh, as a teacher how i can uh, deliver my knowledge to my students okay to solve a problem uh, we use the technology which is we use the uh, online learning okay which is uh, for example i deliver my class okay online using teams okay and also the other example we can use other than we can use Teams, we also can use Zoom. Okay, so that is uh, what we call a technology. All right, okay. And uh, the other example of technology which is uh, which which is for example, um, uh, we use a drone. Okay, a drone is a technology which is to we can capture. Okay, capture video image. Okay, from uh, from above. Okay, uh, so that we can see all around the, uh, apa, uh, on, uh, under, okay, under the place lah, right? Uh, so we can see the uh, movement, we can take a picture from far away, okay? So that is uh, the technology because, um, for example, okay, another one example which is uh, how you solve a problem if you have a lot of uh, records okay and then you have to make sure that record is a systematic okay one of the example which is you use the uh, database okay to store all the information or records okay and the communication which is uh, more on a process more than one uh, computer or a device which is to transfer data instructions and information so this will combine uh, we call it as a ICT. So we deliver information. How we deliver information using the technology, and uh, also the communication. Okay, all right. When we talk about the IT and ICT, which is uh, there are two field. Okay, for IT and ICT, for IT which is industrial field. Okay, they use the computer and the software to manage information. Okay, for example, uh, the field of networking, communication, and software engineering. All right, and another one is academic field, which is we use uh, ICT, okay, information communication technology. For example, how I deliver my knowledge, okay, I use uh, the uh, uh, information through the telecommunication. For example, I use, uh, we use uh, internet, okay, students also, Right, use internet, Wi-Fi, and then you use a laptop, cell phone, cell phone you, okay, and then your, uh, your uh, smartphone, right. So that is how we can use, uh, ICT in academic field, alright, and then we learn what is the uh, information system. In this topic, uh, we will uh, discuss detail about the information system first. Uh, you must know what is a system. A system is set of the components to interact that, that interact to achieve a common goal. Right? Okay. So, what is information system? Information system is a collection of hardware, software, data, people, and procedure. So, there are five uh, elements which is they are combined together. They are worked together to get a quality of information. Okay. Uh, so, uh, after this, we will discuss detail about what is a hardware, software, uh, data, okay, and people. Okay, procedure is actually, uh, for example, like um, user manual, okay, user manual. Uh, 
so uh, it will help the user to use the certain of the device okay for example you you have your printer and how you can use a printer by using the user manual that provide by the uh, company uh, the brand of a company okay all right so we discuss uh, after this about the part part of the information system which is what is a uh, people okay a people involved in every aspect of information system right so uh, the other way the other name we we, we call as a user user eh? okay so user can class, uh, classify uh, as direct and indirect user we have to uh, two uh, type okay two category of user which is direct and indirect user so direct user which is a person or a user that uh, use the computer the system directly okay and affect the system for example like um, system analyst uh, data entry personnel okay system managers and also operator that is example okay which is they use the computer directly Okay, for example, another one is a uh, database uh, management uh, admin, okay, admin database, which is they use the uh, database to uh, to uh, key in the uh, records, okay. Uh, so, that is the meaning of direct user. Okay, indirect user is actually a people or user that is uh, affect the system but are not directly use the system or the computer itself okay for example uh, you go to the giant you buy you want to buy a goods okay you want you, you want to buy items okay so when you buy the goods or items from the uh, giant okay you are affect the system the inventory system of the giant eh? okay so you are not using the system but when you buy okay uh, when you buy from giant Okay, actually you are effect, you affected the uh, system, alright, even though you are not using the system directly. So, you are indirect user, alright. Okay, so we go to the next one, which is the second, uh, the other uh, part of the uh, information system, which is a software. Okay, a software, it refers to a set of instructions that tell a computer what to do, alright. And we have two types, which is one is system software and the second type is application software. Okay, I go to the first one, a system software. Okay, a system software, which is a collection of programs, okay, uh, which is, uh, it enables the uh, application of a software to interact with the hardware. Okay, meaning that, for example, uh, one of example of a system software is operating system or OS, okay. Operating system, which is uh, uh, the function is to manage the programs, manage the program in the computer or your laptop or the device, okay, your smartphone. Okay, the example of operating system is um, Windows, uh, Mac OS, okay, Android, iOS. So that is uh, that is an operating system. Right. The other example of a system software is utility programs. Okay. So utility program is actually um is more on uh, to maintain the performance of your computer. It's more on maintain uh, maintaining maintaining the computer. Okay. For example, you use one of the application under utility program, which is uh, for example, uh, this clean up. Okay. This clean up is actually to clean or to remove unnecessary files so that is example which is under system software okay and then uh, what is a application software is a second type of the software which is end user software where you can use them to do your task for example as a student you you uh, you do your assignment okay then when you do your assignment you use uh, microsoft word you do your presentation okay that is a part of the uh, application software we have two type one is general purpose and another one is special purpose okay for general purpose for example like for presentation for uh, create a budget for uh, create a poster using word okay uh, do assignments that is a general purpose right and for special purpose is actually more to uh, for uh, expert okay expert uh, of using the application for example you expert you are uh, you want to edit the photo you want to uh, create a video 
Okay, so you use this kind of the software, for example, like Photoshop. Okay, so if you um, watch one of the uh, animation movie or a movie which is, a, for example, like Transformers, you can see that uh, the movie looks very real, the characters, okay, the robot looks very real. Okay, because they use a very uh, high technology of uh, uh, video, okay, animation. Okay, which is they use the technology of motion capture. Motion capture is actually a technology which is a, the the actor will uh, wear wearing a suit. Okay, a suit which is the suit have the sensor. So when the actor uh, acting eh, in the studio, so it will sense all the uh, movement. Okay, and it looks very real. Okay, even though you also can use the motion capture uh, on the face. Okay, let's say, uh, for example, a movie named The Ape, Cerita Pasal Beruk, okay, uh, atau uh, Beruk Monyet, eh, uh, uh, nampak real, okay, monyet tu nampak real sangat, macam sebab dia bercakap dan sebagainya, it looks like a human, uh, because of the uh, technology, how they can create uh, the apes looks real, they can talk. Okay, so that is the example of the special purpose. Okay, I go to the next one, which is uh, we explain about the computer. So what is a computer? A computer is electronic uh, device, which is uh, more on processing, which is they uh, uh, have four functions. They use four functions. They work in four functions, which is the first one, input, okay, processing, outputs and also store uh, store okay first thing uh, what the computer do they will get data from the uh, data from the user the user will uh, input the data and then after that the data will be processed data and information will be processed by the computer and uh, then there will be uh, after process is output display the output okay and also the computer also can do for store uh, store the data and also the information so there are four uh, functions major functions uh, of computer okay all right and then what is the data and information data information is actually a collection of unprocessed item uh, which is a raw facts okay for example like a uh, image picture uh, text numbers okay for example like uh, names, for example, like uh, Nama Lukman Haki, uh, date of birth, okay, 25th March uh, 2011, okay, and uh, what else, address, okay, so that is what we call the data, okay, information is actually the combination or the collection of data, which will be in a group, okay, in a one group, so it will represent in a meaningful design, for example, um, like a uh, birth certificate certificate right okay so in a birth certificate you can see on the uh, on the paper on the birth certificate which is uh, there are a name your name your uh, a number of a certificate okay address your mother's and father's name uh, uh, and also date of birth Okay, where you you born? Okay, the place of uh or the place of birth. Okay, so everything will be on the uh, certificate. So that is what we call the information. The other example is um uh receipt. Okay, when you buy something from a shop, you can you get a receipt. So when you look at the receipt, you can see on the receipt they have the price, the items, number of items, uh date today. Okay, and then the cashier's name. So that is the what we call the information. Okay, and then uh, okay, binary language. Okay, binary language is actually uh, the computer process. How the computer process by using the binary language, uh, which is the process by the computer itself. Okay, so uh, the binary language consists of two digits only, which is a zero and one. Okay, 0 and 1 and how the computer process using the binary language for example okay each of the characters numbers uh, alphabet represent one byte so one byte equals to eight bits okay in eight bits in the eight bits contain two digit only zero and one okay for example 
for ICT, there are three um, uh, three uh, alphabet. Okay, I C T. So meaning that each of the alphabet represent one byte. So here we have three byte. Okay, we have three byte, which is uh, represent eight bits. So each of the uh, byte is eight bits here. Okay, not more. Uh, not more than eight. Eh? So every characters, numbers, uh, symbol, okay, alphabet, they represent eight bits. Not more than eight. So eight bits. Okay. So if you look here for I zero one zero zero one zero zero one C zero one okay and zero one zero 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 one one and also T zero one zero one zero one zero zero. So there are twenty four bits. How to uh, calculate eight times three? Okay. Uh, so twenty four bits equals to three byte, not eight. Three byte. Okay, you have to correct this one. Okay, 3 byte, which is contain 24 bits, right? Okay. Now we go to the components of computer. Components of computer, which is hardware. Okay, hardware is actually an, an electronic and mechanical components, which is you can physically touch. For example, like a monitor, a printer, keyboard, a speaker, Okay, and also scanner. So that is example. And uh, we will discuss about input, output, a system unit, storage device, and also communication device. Okay, so uh, so if you look here, this is what we call the the uh, picture of desktop computer. Eh? We discuss uh, about the component of computer, which is also a part, also a function of computer, which is input, output, processing, and storage. So how the uh, manage how they deliver okay uh, each of the process okay uh, the first one input device okay when the computer function uh, which is they get the data from the user which is input eh? how they get the input from the input device for example like microphone mouse keyboard scanner okay so these are the example of input device which is uh, uh, received by the computer. Okay, all right. So that is the function of computer, which is receive the uh, input from the user. Okay, so how they, after they, they uh, get the data, information from the user, okay, input, and then they have to uh, process. Okay, they have to process. Okay, and then they have to uh, deliver ataupun output. Okay, then we go to the output device. How the how the data output? Okay, which is hardware component that conveys information to one or more people. So you enable they enable you to send process data out of your computer. For example, you use the monitor, you use the printer, speaker. Okay, speaker is actually uh, when you use the microphone. So what? Is the output the output will be from uh will be from the speaker. You can hear your voice, you can hear the song, okay. You can hear the talk, okay. So that is what we call the output device, right? Okay, monitor which is one of the example which is uh you can uh watch the movie, uh you can see your slide, okay, and then uh from the uh monitor, okay. Uh, one more thing, the monitor also we can use at, uh, we can categorize it also as an uh, input and output device because um, some of the monitor ataupun screen or screen uh, monitor, we can use it as an uh, input device. We can use for touch screen. So touch screen, uh, we can input from the uh, screen. Uh, for example, you use the tablet, PC, tablet, for example, iPad or your phone. Okay, your phone, smartphone is touch screen. Okay, for uh, that is example, eh? Alright, output device. Okay, so you look, you look here, which is a printer, monitor, and speaker. Alright, we go to the system unit. Okay, a system unit is a box, is a casing which is contain the components electronic. Okay, so if you look here, which is in the box here, okay, in the slide here, you can see uh, a power supply, chip, fan, video card. Mini card, graphic card, audio card, okay, 
Um, so that is the components that is inside the casing we call it as a system unit. It's a part. It's a uh, it's a part of the system unit. All right. So we have the CD drive. We have the hard drive. We have the motherboard, power cords, and also the ribbon and so on. So in the system unit, we have one uh, circuit board we call as a motherboard. Okay, a motherboard contain two main components, which is CPU and also memory. Okay, so what is a memory? A memory is a random access memory and CPU is central processing unit. We go to the next slide. RAM, random access memory, is actually a, an electronic component which is stored instructions who are waiting for execute. Okay, and, um, and also RAM keeps data instructions temporarily. Okay, while you are doing your assignment, you type, they will hold your data temporarily. But when your computer shut off, okay, the content will be erased. Okay, so that is a function of RAM. Okay, so when you look at your, uh, when you check your uh, specification of your laptop, you can uh, check in the system requirement system, which is either 4 or 8 meg uh, gigabyte. Okay, all right. CPU is actually uh, also we call it as a central processing unit. Okay, which is a part, is a component. Uh, which is uh, um, interprets and carry out the basic instructions that operate the computer. So it's, it's a brain. Actually, the CPU is a brain of the computer, which is it can uh, perform more than 3 billion tasks without error. Okay, it's a part of the uh, uh, important uh, part in your computer, your system unit. Okay, uh, so we, for example, like Intel i7, Intel i, uh, i3, i3, i5, AMD, and so on. All right. Okay. All right, and we go to the next one, which is a storage device. So storage device is actually record and retrieve the items to and from the storage media. So here... Uh, the example of the storage device, floppy disk drive, USB flash drive, CD, hard disk, and card reader. So, uh, which is, for example, uh, for the storage media, um, we use the hard disk, okay, hard disk, which is we can store uh, data and information in the hard disk, which is in, uh, in our laptop. Okay, there are two types. One is external and one is built-in. So, if you use the build, uh, if you use the external hard disk, you can uh, bring it everywhere. Okay, it's a mobile. But um, for built-in, it's is uh, uh, stay in the in the uh, laptop, your laptop or your phone. All right, uh, your uh, laptop, your computer. Okay, so um, uh, the other example that we always use is the uh, what we call the flash drive or pen drive. All right. Okay. Uh, another one which is a CD drive, which is a uh, uh, also not uh, used already, but still used. Okay. And what you see here, the square one, the square black black square. That one is what we call the um, floppy disk. Okay. But we are not using it anymore. Okay. And another one is small. Uh, a small square the one is, we call as a memory card okay okay these are the capacity for each of the storage for example like hard disk it can be up to 2 terabyte and also the flash drive it can be up to 64 gigabyte okay byte is the smallest uh, uh, number okay a smaller size and terabyte is the uh, is the highest okay uh, which is a terabyte TB, okay? All right. And then another one uh, part in uh, computer, okay, which is more to communication. Okay, communication which is occur, occur on, over the transmission media, okay, such as um, we use the satellite, Wi-Fi, okay, and um, also another one is non-wireless transmission, which is we use the cable, and also telephone line. Next one, this is the last one, which is a type of computer. There are four types, which is uh, supercomputers, mainframe, mini computer, and microcomputers. 
Okay, each of the computer they are level, uh, the highest level, the second highest level, and also third and fourth uh, level. Okay, uh, we are going to discuss one by one. The first one, which is supercomputer. Okay, before that, these are the uh, a little bit history about each of the computer, which is uh, in 1964, uh, for uh, founded uh, in US. Okay, which is they use the supercomputer. And uh, for mainframe, uh, it's 1946, uh, okay, mainframe. And uh, for mini computer, founded uh, on 1965, and microcomputer, 1975, okay? All right. Um, I already share in the Telegram group uh, a video about the evolution of laptop, okay, starting 1975. Right. Next is what is uh, the first type of the computer is supercomputer, which is a very fast, very powerful, and also the most expensive uh, supercomputer because uh, they have to uh, process more than 100 trillion instructions in one second. So meaning that they can use for a large, uh, a large uh, calculation scale. Okay, uh, mathematic calculations. They use the uh, to uh, measure measure the underground, all right? Using the uh, calculations. For example, who use the supercomputer? For example, like um, aerospace. Okay, uh, for a large scale simulations and application in medicine, uh, automotive design, weather forecasting, and also nuclear energy research. Alright, um, okay, so next one, the type of computer is the mainframe. Okay, mainframe computer is actually a large, second large and also expensive, expensive computer. And this kind of the mainframe use, uh, normally used by bank because they have to um, uh, store, they have to process uh, more than uh, thousand or billion of the uh, customer data. Okay, uh, or the employees and also they have to manage the thousand of items in inventory. So that is the function of mainframe. Okay, one example that uh, serve, uh, that uh, provide by the bank, which is uh, bank services, which is they provide ATM machine. Okay, for your information, ATM machine that provide by the bank is actually main, uh, is a mainframe computer. Uh, so user can use the mainframe uh, the ATM machine to withdraw the money okay and other transaction using the ATM so ATM is a part of the mainframe computer they uh, they are using the same process as a computer there are four functions the same function which is uh, input uh, process output and uh, storage right okay the third type of computer which is the mini computer. Okay, a mini computer is a centralized computer uh, which is several used for the dumb terminal. Okay, so uh, meaning that a mini computer sometimes used as a server. They just, uh, they just um, only one computer stand alone. Okay, and uh, they provide the, uh, the content to the terminal or the client computer. Okay, so that is the function of mini computer and mini computer also used by the small company organization um, to store their, uh, process their data. Okay, uh, not more than thousand, not more than hundred. Okay, so that is a mini computer. Okay, last one which is microcomputer. A microcomputer is a computer with a processor, a CPU. Okay, for example, like a desktop computer, notebook, tablet, and handheld, right? Um, so, so this is uh, this is a desktop computer. Okay, desktop computer. Uh, desktop computer. The function is same as laptop, but the different uh, with the laptop, of course, the size, the size of the computer, uh, is large size and heavy, and uh, suitable for you. To use it only in one place okay it's not suitable to bring it everywhere like laptop but the function the specification same okay and of course about the price more cheaper than the laptop 
Okay, the price more cheaper than laptop. Okay, so this is a desktop computer. Okay, okay, this one is a laptop or your laptop or notebook. Okay, and it's a uh, more practical, which is you can bring it everywhere. You can uh, make it as a mobile laptop. Okay, mobile device. Okay, alright. Uh, the function also same as the desktop computer, and it's quite a uh, lightweight and also powerful as uh, same as the desktop computer. Okay. Alright, okay. Next one is the tablet PC. A tablet PC is a special type of the notebook computer. For example, like iPad, uh, Samsung Galaxy, okay, which is you can use it uh, also as a laptop, which is you can bring it everywhere. It's a mobile, mobile device. Uh, but the different with the lap, uh, with the tablet PC, which is uh, they use this uh, touch screen, okay, and also we can use a stylus pen, okay. So, um, is quite also practical okay you can uh, keep in the bag in your bag okay and also you can attach with the uh, keyboard okay so when you attach with the keyboard it looks like a laptop okay so it's more practical when you use the lap uh, when you use the tablet pc all right okay and last one which is the microcomputer uh, example which is a handheld computer handheld computer is actually quite small and it's uh, very useful especially for the people that have to move one place to one place and uh, it's more to work life okay for example parcel delivery people and a job which which is uh, required the people to move okay to one house to one house for example uh, like tmb they have to print the bill via the uh, handheld computer okay all right and parcel, for example, like uh, uh, parcel that have they ha they have to deliver the parcel, they they have to update uh the location, the the uh the process so that the customer can track, okay, track uh, where the parcel is, okay, uh, right. So that's all for the topic one. I hope you understand, okay. So get ready for the next topic to next week, inshallah. Thank you. Bye. Assalamualaikum. Uh, so how we can connect to the communication? Either we can use the modem. So modem is actually is a part of the components to uh, device and eh, device to connect to the internet. And also we use, uh, uh, we can use, uh, this is the old, old uh, version eh, of internet uh, device which is using the broadband. You have to insert your SIM card in the broadband and then you have to, to plug in then you can uh, serve for internet okay and then and the one this one is a uh, the cable the blue cable here is actually for network cable okay we can find this cable in the office school okay all right okay then